Another video exposing the Labour Party's idiocy, hypocrisy and incompetence. This one is about Emily Thornberry. Yeah, she's supposed to be one of the veterans, one of the experienced professional politicians. Yeah, she's still an idiot. Because this uh, question uh, on the panel on BBC was about uh, the, the migration plans of the government, especially when it comes to moving migrants from hotels to either army barracks or uh, ships or other places. And I've already discussed my views on this, obviously, because there are some issues with even the army barracks, especially if there's no consent from the local people. Uh, but also even the ships, uh, if it doesn't apply to all migrants, including those on, in all hotels, that's a whole different problem. But at least it's a policy because we don't want to use all hotels and all private properties to um, putting our illegal migrants. That aside, the reason this is happening is because the Labour Party and the left of the, the Tory party are continuing to push for more migration. Let's go to Emily Thornberry. In terms of Chris, so I, I hear what you're saying, so you just think it should be faster, clearly. But in terms of uh, Chris's question, are the government's plans to house migrants in ex-military bases, potentially vessels? That's a credible alternative to using hotels. I haven't right. had Labour objecting okay. to that. Okay. So, first are of all... Are you objecting to that? Yeah, no, first of all, there, there's not... I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not as though they're saying that it's going to be an alternative. It's going to be an add-on. It's not like... And when we've asked questions about this, they're not going to be moving people out of their hotels and putting them in... But, but, yeah, and I agree. It's because you guys don't want it either. It's not like... She makes it sound like she wants to move all people from hotels to barracks of ships. She doesn't want that either army bases or in some sort of ship somewhere it's an add-on to all the hotels that already use the answer to getting people out of hotels is to make the decisions faster is to have is to is to work with the national crime agency and actually have some people focusing on the gangs to make sure that we we go for the gangs okay, but just so, so yeah just to confirm she's basically uh, reconfirming what the labor policy is not to stop migration but to accelerate the application process to basically tick 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 you come in you come in you come in and secondly this fake policy of going after the smugglers the people smugglers which doesn't do anything about anything in france question right. uh, do labor support or object to the idea of using barracks to house asylum seekers ah i mean i think that as i say i think that it's not actually what i what i object to answer the, the question is that it's going to be used as an add-on to the hotel okay. so you've already said that just answer the question is the Labour Party against it or not? Not a solution okay, to that. But in principle, you don't have a problem with the asylum seekers being put in barracks. Just I go. don't have a problem with people being treated humanely, and I don't have a problem with a, with a system which is firm and okay, fast I and think... fair. Answer but the question. Frankly, none of that is here with that. All they're trying to do <laughs> is set up a fight and an oh argument God. so that we don't think about the core problem and the core reason why we have a problem. Yeah, because you want more migration. That's the core problem. What is she talking about? The Labour Party have no policies to stop illegal migration or mass legal migration. Definitely. Why is no one asking them in the media about their policy, not on illegal migration, but on mass legal migration? Put them in a corner, scrutinize them, because they are not going to say no. They are not going to say, yes, we oppose mass legal migration. They are very much in favor of mass legal economic migration. And you have to ask these questions to get the real answers, even if they don't really answer you properly. But it is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you think. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.